I am Kevin Allison with the Marion County Soil and Water Conservation District. This is our second video about soil health. Um, we're going to be talking to growers about why soil health is important to them and how they use it. Where traditional farming and market gardening methods uh, will usually include uh, multiple passes with the tiller at different times of the year. We've excluded that from our practices. Our goal has partly become uh, minimal soil disturbance and so we want to maintain the integrity of the soil and the soil structure. We want to have living roots in the soil as much as possible, which encourages all sorts of biotic life and which just uh, contributes overall to the health of the soil. If you look in a, in a native prairie or forest system, you don't see a lot of disturbance and you see the ground being covered and you see roots everywhere. As close as we can, uh, we're, we're trying to mimic that and it, it creates a system that's, that's healthy for everything that's growing and healthy for everything that's eating what's growing. Unfortunately, the, a lot of people see the, the, the bugs or the weeds as, as some of their obstacles, but concentrate on getting soil health to its optimum level and, and you're going to find that those pressures go away as well. So it's one of those things that always needs to be on your mind is, is the health of your soil. And, and if you're working towards soil health, you're going to have a, a more successful farm and garden. After winter cover crop, we've seen big changes in the soil structure. Um, the weed pressure that we would normally see is gone. Uh, we didn't see the erosion uh, that we would normally see, nor the compaction. Basically in the spring, uh, after a winter of cover cropping, our soil is richer and, and uh, healthier and ready to plant. If, if someone were to ask me, how do I get started with cover cropping? What is the process for this? Uh, the first thing I would say is look at your planting plant. What do you want to grow? What are you trying to achieve with the soil? And I would also suggest uh, planting in a small area if you're planting for the first time, just to try to see what kind of growth you get and to see how easy it is to kill. Contact your Soil and Water Conservation District. Um, they're going to have the answers, they have the information that you need, and that's your, your first call. Our farm is in the middle of Indianapolis, uh, two miles from the center of the city, in a pretty densely populated area. I think what we're doing uh, is it's just really doable in the city and I would encourage anybody with a, a front yard to plant a garden and, and give it a try. Thank you for watching this video. I hope it was helpful. Um, don't hesitate to reach out to your local soil and water conservation district or local growers to find out more.